Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is 4 Minute Friday. Here's what's going on in your automotive world. Speed limiters may be on your next vehicle. If you want to hear more, stay right with us. Let's put four minutes on the clock. Europe will require speed limiters on your next vehicle by 2022. That is not that far off. And Volvo's already starting to plan on doing that in some of their upcoming vehicles. Why would a speed limiter upset you? Why do you care if there's a speed limiter? Maybe you never speed and you only do the speed limit. You are I call keeper of the speed. Fine, that is okay. However, you should know that this means control of your vehicle by an outside source and by computers. So here are some things that you need to know. These computers would control the fact that if you're speeding even a few miles an hour over the limit, it will stop you. It'll force you to drive the speed limit at a maximum. Now remember that sometimes traffic moves along a little quicker than the speed limit might. Also, speed limits sometimes change, and this is going to be connected to the, what they're calling the connected car system, where they're supposed to be 100% accurate on the speed limit, which we know changes all the time. I was just in Europe and I saw speed limits go, these are in kilometers, of course, not miles per hour, 30, 40, 60, 50, 70, 90, 120, down to 100, it jumps all over the place. And some of that also requires you to make a judgment call. There are times where you must go slower because of traffic or animals or the situation. And there are also times where you'd like to speed up. You're not gonna have those options. You're not gonna have that human interface because cars are going to be controlled by the computer saying the navigation system says the speed limit's 30 miles per hour, then you will drive 30 miles per hour and not any faster. This could actually cause accidents because as traffic moves along on many of our freeways and highways and byways, Sometimes the speed limit's 65 and people do 72. But if you're blocking in the high speed lane or the middle lane, if there's three lanes, doing exactly the speed limit and not one mile per hour more, you could get hit from behind. Again, this is supposed to be the lead up to autonomous cars, getting consumers ready. This would also include making the car stop at pedestrian crosswalks if it thinks there is a human in the crosswalk. That may not be the case. Lights, shadows, other things that might be in the way would be construed by the computer to make the decision that it is a human or something and slam on the brakes or stop the car based on its decisions of cameras, LIDAR, and radar. Again, these are problems we have with autonomous cars. Weather is the biggest factor that can't be overcome. Whether you have sand or snow or rain, those are times those cameras won't work and it'll require you to do it. Now, if you're not practicing that because you assume the car is going to do it for you, and isn't this great technology, also keep in mind that this will be a problem. The problem being, this will require you to practice that skill. That means just like riding a bike or anything that you might do, you have to practice that skill to be good at it. If you're used to ignoring driving and letting the car do this for you, getting used to that autonomous technology, you may not be ready to make that decision. And do you want a computer to make that decision for you? So you may think, well, what's the big deal, Lauren? Why are you ranting and raving? We're making the streets safer. It's gonna lower insurance costs for everyone. You should be thrilled. Yeah, well, why is this starting? It's starting with a Chinese car company being Volvo, which I do love their product. So don't get me wrong, but I don't like the fact that they want to be a nanny for you. Here's the big thing. Volvo's owned by a Chinese car company called Geely. And China has already started back in 2014, creating what they call a social media score. We are used to having scores. If you're an eBay user, you have a buyer and seller score. If you buy anything, you have a credit rating score. We're all used to that. Even Uber uses a rating so you know whether you're a good passenger Uber user or not. This social credit score is the problem. It's going to impact a lot of things that you do on a regular basis, and it does impact Chinese citizens today. Your social credit score will be adjusted based on what you do, how you do it. Do you play music too loud? That's a negative. Have you ever jaywalked? Have you ever made a scene in a restaurant? All these type of factors, these little teeny things that we do in our everyday life. Maybe you insulted somebody. All these social media factors, including your social media, are totaled up. And how does it limit you? It can deny you from buying a plane ticket. They can charge you higher fees on train tickets. They can stop allowing you to buy certain things and to do certain things that you already have the freedom to do every day. Now you're saying, okay, that's China. They're a communist country. We're in America. We don't let those things happen. Yes, they're going to eventually be factored into your insurance costs. 
And this is limitations. Now you're thinking, oh, this is so sci-fi. This is so Fahrenheit 451. So, you know, 1984. Well, yes, anytime you allow Big Brother to control your freedoms, whether it be your freedom of speech, your freedom of religion, your freedom to drive, which is where my sweet spot is, your freedom to drive at whatever speed you want, even to take that vehicle on a racetrack and maybe become a better, more focused driver. These are factors that are going to be considered in your social media score. Now, we don't have those here yet. Currently, they're run by local governments and independent private corporations, but they're starting to collect that data. And that's why your mother always told you, be careful what you put online. Yeah, guess what? She was right, because that information is starting to be used against people, whether it's applying for a college, applying for a job. You're starting to see these factors all being added up. Even your grades in college and in high school can impact your credit score. Social media scoring is around the corner. And anytime there's a limitation with my car that tells me I can't drive the speed limit, I've had enough. This is where you need to stand up. Is this what you want? You Do you want to be limited? Do you want to be controlled and scored? If not, now is the time to stop this insanity before it's too late to turn back. We have partnered with audiobooks that's allowing you to get a free book. You can click on the link below or you can go to our website, carcoachreports.com. There's a link there. You get a free audiobook. And I just got back from a very long flight to Greece where there was no Wi-Fi. And thank goodness to audiobooks, I was able to listen to one of my favorite books. And this is something that you can do whether you're sitting in a doctor's office or going on a long road trip. Check it out. Check out the description below for more information on what we just discussed, as well as links. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, just click right up there. If you'd like to see what YouTube suggests, just click right down over there. If you'd like to subscribe and follow us, the subscription button is here and all of those details on how to follow us are right down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share with your friends and your comments. Thanks. Take care.